Hi, and welcome back to Stop and Give Me 10. I am your wellness coach, Marilyn Ward, with no excuses, and today we are going to do lunges. So, lots of variations of lunges. So, we're going to warm up first. So, we'll just do a march in place, and we'll do our uh, two minutes of our warm up. Lots of different uh, marches just to wake these legs up to get ready for a lot of different ways that we can lunge and so lunges they work the quads the hamstrings the glutes and even the calves so yes yeah, the modified jack just opening the legs here we'll do a high knee jog we'll do a bucket jog so 30 seconds of each. I will keep the pace fairly uh, slow to moderate for these lunges. We will rest for 30 seconds in between each one. Lunges are, uh, you get really deep and they really, you're really gonna feel this. I feel it more in my quads than anything. Um, now the curtsy lunge, you kind of feel more in the back, but, so we'll give a good rest in between just so we don't cause any burnout or injury. And then always make sure that you watch a stretch video at the end to make sure that you're stretching, just in case that we don't have time uh, to do the stretches. So that was the high knee, now we're gonna do the butt kick. So bringing that heel to high knee, I'm just moving my arms back. I hope you're having a great day. It is sunny out right now, I finally went out on a walk and did not get rained on that's good but the rain said it was supposed to hit about 10. It hasn't rained yet so all right so our first lunge is just a basic lunge we're gonna do 15 seconds well let's just see let's just do 30 on the right and then 30 on the left so from this position you're keeping that knee over the ankle and this hip and knee stays in alignment. So when you look down, you should always see your toe just like with a squat. So upper body stays now we're switch. Upper body just stays nice and straight. Now, if you feel like balance is an issue for you, grab a chair. There's nothing wrong with hanging on to the back of a chair here. So just you're dropping straight down I always feel the stationary lunges more than anything, more than any other lunge besides the deep uh, forward split lunge where your leg is up on a box or a bench. All right, now we'll rest. Hopefully you feel that. Hopefully you felt a nice burn in here. Now I will say lunges are tougher on the knees. So uh, go with them with your pace or what feels good for you. Next one, I'm gonna do a reverse lunge. So I'm gonna alternate the legs, going back into a reverse lunge, okay? Two more seconds, so here we go. Reverse lunge, and we're down, and we're down. So, in the side view. Now, again, my hands, this is what I do. You can curl with them. Maybe you wanna add some weights here. Maybe you just do your praying hands. But always look down, check that toe. You should see your toe. Do not rest your hands on your thighs. Put more pressure on that leg. And we're resting. Now, you do not want to hit your knee to the floor. So this is a no-no. You don't want to hit the knee to the floor. It's going to cause more damage to that knee. If you want to go that deep, and put that other leg up on a box, like I was saying. Resting here, now we're gonna go into a forward lunge. Same thing, but we're gonna lunge forward. And then you snap back. Again, alternating those legs. So we're forward and back. Forward and back. From the side view. Oh, sorry, totally did a back one. So forward and back. Forward again, when you're going forward, 
She'll look down and see that toe. So if you're going forward, you're kicking yourself back up. Good. And rest. So reverse, you drop that leg back. Forward, you take the leg forward. So they almost, they feel a little bit the same, but that snap back is what you really feel. Now we're gonna go, we're gonna lunge side to side. And we'll do a curtsy lunge. And we'll do a walking lunge. So side to side. We're gonna alternate again. So you really kind of feel this on that inner thigh. Again, you're just gonna take it as deep as you can. It's just side to side. And touch. So just think side lunge. It's a basic lunge. A lot of controversy on the side lunge. Some coaches like it, some don't. Uh, just because your, your knee is kind of, you always wanna to try to keep that knee in alignment. So the next one is our curtsy lunge. So curtsy lunge, you bring that knee behind you and come up, bring it behind you. So you see it's not straight back, it's coming behind that other leg. So it's another great alternative to the side lunge. So bring it back and we're just gonna alternate again here and back, good. Now, you can always do just one side of each and do 30 seconds on each side. That's an yeah, excellent, good leg workout. You'll really feel it, kind of like you did in the beginning. We'll end over here. You'll feel it more, for sure. All right, so we're gonna do a walking lunge. So we'll rest 30 seconds. I'm gonna start back here. I'm gonna walk to you in a lunge, and then we'll pause, we'll see. So right now we're resting, and then I'm gonna do a walking lunge forward. This is another good one for that balance. So if you feel struggling here, if you have walking poles, you can always use those. So I keep my hands out to the side, and we're walking. Just be careful in that walking lunge, you still wanna look down and see that toe. Now, I could lunge backwards, but safety. Obviously, you want a nice long path that you can do these walking lunges. I'm only getting like one each. Now, different thing about these, go ahead and you can just listen here. You can walk with taking that step forward each time, or you can lunge come up where your feet meet or like i said you just draw that foot um completely forward we're gonna do one more it's kind of a fun added one it's a squat turn lunge squat turn lunge this is just your little bonus. You're getting a squat in here, but today's focus was the lunge. But this is a kind of a fun one here. And turn and resting. So resting here, just breathing it out. And then we have 30 seconds left. We're just gonna kind of, uh, Cool down the legs. So, we have 15 seconds. Get your rest in. Shake it out. Shake it out. And then, three, two, one. Let it open the legs. Open. Feel all of that goodness. I hope you enjoyed today's lunge session. You can always add that to another 10 minute leg session. 
Maybe add it to a warm up, add it to a, an ab, just an ab video, and then add your stretch at the end. Add it to a leg day or an arm day. So these 10 minutes, you can build on them. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again tomorrow.